Hey, I'm Taka, founder of Jami. Our customers hop on a call every single day and people speak in a language that they don't know. They're often stressed, confused, and feel like they don't belong there. At Jami, we do whatever it takes so that that won't happen. In October, we got tons of feedback and we worked on it. This is November update that I want to show you. First, we got you the custom vocabulary. Customer often told us, well, this specific term is not transcribed. So you can now register your specific terms to be transcribed. For example, here, I entered Jami in my name, Takashirasu, and let's see that will be transcribed. This looks perfect. Next, we've introduced translation quality setting. Customer often told us, well, contextual translation is great, and that's a bread and butter of Jami, but I want fast translation. In that way, in that, in that case, you can turn this toggle to speed and get a fast translation. Now, some customers told us as well that, look, all this AI feature is nice and all, but sometimes I need to display the translation in the events. I got your back. If you click this button, it's a display mode. You can just display, change the size of app, and then make it look like a caption. Next, background opacity setting. It's nice to have transparent background, background like this uh, during the meeting, but sometimes you, you want to have a solid background. In that case, you can increase this opacity to have solid background and you don't see through anything in the back. Microphone setting. Some customers have told us that, look, sometimes I don't want to use a default microphone. Now you can change it. You cannot change it during the meeting, but once you stop this meeting, you are able to change it. We completely changed and transformed Ask Jami section so that you can ask anything that you want. So for example, what's going on right now? And now you can get a gist of what's happening during the meeting in bullet points, and you can ask any sort of questions. Generate speech. Sometimes in a meeting, you want to speak up and let people know that you want to know about that or, or you have a question about this. In that case, you can type in any language that you want and I'll type in Japanese. And then you can get a speech. I have a question. But if you don't know the language, you can also read your native language to speak the language that's spoken in the meeting. For example, here, I have a question. Alternatively, you can copy and then paste to Slack messages or meeting in chat system to let your colleagues or clients know that you want to speak up. Real-time summary. We used to have translation in bullet points, but we transformed that into real-time summary. And the reason is you can now turn off the translation and then use it as a real-time summary of the meeting as well. And once you got a summary, you can click on this to get uh, insights or more context of this summary. Now, we used to have notes, but now we have memo and we added additional feature of quick memo. Right here, you can type something like, this is Jami's demo. And what it does is to write a memo into your memos from the chat. If you click this, you can see we got the memo. Now, as usual, you can click this button and end the meeting. Right here, as usual, you get a meeting notes. We've made an update, a few updates on this web page as well. First, you can close the nav bar. Second, we've changed notes to memos. So the memo you left during the meeting is right here right now. And as you can see, there are comprehensive meeting notes that's generated. You can ask anything and you can add a context from the previous meeting that you had. Let's ask, how does generate speech feature work?
and then it will give you a summary of what I talked about during the meeting. Well, that's all we have for November update. Give us more feedback and we'll deliver. See you in December.